If you're a struggling YouTube creator waking up every morning to no more views and no more subscribers, it might be time to try something new. So let me pitch this one to you. You need to start making YouTube shorts as soon as possible. Here's why. Platform-wide YouTube shorts now average 30 billion views daily. And YouTube is now actively improving the algorithm so that when people watch your shorts, they might be suggested your long form content too. In a word, YouTube shorts represent opportunity, a massive opportunity, but not for long. As its popularity grows, so does the competition. You don't want to be left behind, do you? So how do you do it? How do you engage an audience like that. Well, let's break it down into nine relatively short digestible segments. And I know this first one's gonna sound obvious, but really listen to what I'm saying. Keep your YouTube short, short. You hear this all of the time. Our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter because there is more choice and distraction in the world. But here's how bad it's truly got. According to Time Magazine, our attention span is now shorter than a goldfish's. Ooh. That's cool. And what makes it even more challenging is that YouTube have made it incredibly easy for a viewer to swipe off your video when they get bored. Although you have 60 seconds to make a YouTube short, that doesn't mean you should use all of that time. And with that in mind, let me throw this number at you. According to Wired, approximately 25% of the most popular TikTok videos fall between the video length range of 21 to 34 seconds. And many videos are even shorter than that. This YouTube short tells us five things we'll only find in Japan and it clocks in at just 12 seconds in length. That's a lot of info to pack into such a short space of time. But it's also one of the reasons why it's got over a million views in a single month. Next, consider how your short starts, how your short finishes, and if you can bring the two together by creating a loop, creating a loop, creating a loop. Unlike regular YouTube videos that play a new video once the current one has finished, YouTube shorts automatically loop back to the beginning with no pause. In the most visually hypnotic cases, videos can loop several times before the viewer even realizes. Now this can have a seemingly impossible impact on retention. So much so that the most successful YouTube shorts creators often have an average view duration of over 100%. Let me show you how Dental Digest loot their videos. This is the start. Let's find out which ice cream is safe for braces. Ice cream sandwiches. And this is the end. Good thing they stopped selling these things because they're not approved. It's time to get brushed, but first. And this is what happens when you loot the two together. Good thing they stopped selling these things because they're not approved. It's time to get brushed, but first let's find out which ice cream is safe for braces. Ice it's almost impossible to tell, isn't it? Also, very cool editing. The latest buzzword we use here at vidIQ is curiosity. And with shorts, it's no exception. People always have the urge, the curiosity to know what, when, where, why, and how. And you can do that to your audience by creating a gap in their knowledge. If you can achieve this at the very beginning of a video, then it's your job to pay off by the end. Here's why saving money in the bank makes you poor. Eh? How does that work? So you give them money, they give you like 0.001% interest, and then they loan it back to you for three, four, five percent interest. I think this guy's onto something. What should I do? So what do I do? I invest it. Put it into assets that are going to beat inflation. Oh yeah, time to invest. For me, I use real estate. I love real estate because I think real estate will always beat inflation, personally, my opinion. Real estate. Now, keep enough in the bank for an emergency fund, but anything above that, invest it. If I gave you three dollars right now, what would you invest it in? Let us know in the comments below. That's a very simple way to engage with your audience. Asking questions are great casual conversation starters and have a very positive engagement impact on your videos. Think about the type of questions that spark debate amongst your audience and ask them. Which is harder to get, 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time? Let us know in the comments below. Now this next one is super important because the first three seconds of your YouTube short are absolutely critical because it pulls triple duty. Your first three seconds are basically the thumbnail, title and hook all rolled into one. And this is because of the fundamental difference between long form content and YouTube shorts choice. You almost always pick what long form video you're going to watch next. Whereas for shorts, YouTube decides for you. So the first thing a viewer sees isn't a thumbnail, isn't a title, it's your video. You can do this by teasing something that's about to happen, having captivating visuals, having an engaging question, or all three. Your brain is broken and I'm gonna prove it to you. 90% of Princeton students cannot answer the pretzel question. Let's see if you can do it. So if 
it takes five machines five minutes to make five pretzels, how long does it take for a hundred machines to make a hundred pretzels? Don't say 100. Don't say 100, Rob. You know this is a trap, but everyone's looking at you. Answer! 100! If your answer was 100, you're completely wrong. Yeah! To solve the problem of a viewer never seeing your YouTube Shorts thumbnail or your YouTube Shorts title, you can use captions. At the very beginning of a video, you can put captions on screen that create a suspenseful, intriguing title. For example, let's say you want to make a YouTube short about a cheap alternative to a GoPro Hero 10 action camera. Instead of going straight into the product's review, start with a headline-grabbing, attention-seeking caption titled like this. With this caption in place, more people will want to watch your video through to the end in order to find out the answer to the question. This is what a salary of $1.5 million looks like after taxes in California. Next up, eye-catching visuals. Oh yeah, we need some of that. Here's what would happen if the Earth was flat. The center of gravity on a flat Earth would be right in the middle. So wherever possible, you can use visual storytelling to get your point across to the audience in a short amount of time showing as opposed to telling. You can incorporate text, animation, b-roll and more to create dynamic and engaging video content. A lot of this type of stuff can be sourced from places like Storyblocks and other stock footage sites. And what you may have also noticed in this video and many of the other shots we've seen today are custom captions. Now these are not captions YouTube automatically generate. These have been added during the editing process before being uploaded to YouTube. As well as adding a visual flair to your videos, sometimes captions can be easier to read than the crappy audio coming out of your smartphone. Captions can also help viewers with hearing problems or when the video is not in the viewer's native language, or if the viewer is in a loud environment where it's not easy to hear the video, such as on a bus. Again, there are services out there that can help you with this type of stuff. Try Descript, it's pretty awesome. And then of course we have the tried and tested strategy. Nothing beats experience. It may take you 10, 20, 50, even a hundred YouTube shorts before things start to click. But the good news is you can make shorts a lot quicker than you can long form YouTube content. So get into the creator mindset. Use YouTube shorts as a content playground. Have fun with it. Here's five surprising facts you didn't know about YouTube. So if you think I would be a good catch, instead of swiping right, make sure you double tap on the screen. That pesky Elon Musk, he gets everywhere. So go on then, which of these was the most surprising YouTube fact to you? Yeah, just like that. Now I've got two fascinating points to share with you. First of all, these lights throughout the video have slowly been running out of battery. So rewind to the beginning to check out the continuity challenge I've got right here. And far more importantly, in some way, shape or form, monetization is coming to YouTube Shorts within the next 12 months. And I'm not talking about this silly half-baked creator shorts fund that's due to expire at the end of 2022. I'm talking about something more rewarding, more reliable, more sustainable. I'm not sure what it is yet, but YouTube have committed to it. If you don't act now, you could miss out on a huge financial opportunity. So now you know all of the strategies behind making YouTube Shorts, you've got to actually create them. This is where you start.